Hey, this is just a quick video to talk to you about a suggestion that I have, which is not to use voice isolation mode on the Macintosh unless you need to. Right now, I am not using it. I'm using um, a Yeti uh, Blue Yeti X microphone. I uh, use it all the time for my Zoom. It sounds pretty good, I think. It's directly in front of me. I'm in the cardioid pattern. The volume is up just about halfway, and I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, I like to sound good in my Zoom recordings, and I think you probably do as well. And so my recommendation is not to use the voice isolation mode unless you need to do it. Uh, let me just uh, show for you exactly what the difference is. I'm going to show you where you can find that on your Macintosh here. You should see a little image on the, on the right-hand side. Um, where you can find the video feature that will only pop up once your video is on in Zoom. And that's for the audio as well. Down at the bottom, there is a mic mode, which switches it between the standard and voice isolation. So I'm going to switch back and forth right now. This is the standard, as you can hear it. This is voice isolation mode as you can hear it. You hear that difference that happens in the in the voice. It really loses a lot of that quality once you hit voice isolation. This is the standard again. This is the standard mode. And then this voice isolation mode again. You can hear that difference. I hope that was helpful to you. You can make your own decision. Uh, record yourself in Zoom, switch back and forth between the different modes, and decide what's best for you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below.